Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. Today, we're going to be talking about acoustic panels. But before we get into the video, if you're into home theater, audio, and video, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. Alright guys, I wanted to take a few moments to talk about acoustic panels and acoustic treatments. Now when I was building my room and I was in the forums, a lot of guys were saying, hey, what are you going to do about acoustic treatments? And honestly, at that time, I really thought that that was just snake oil. But as I began to do my research, I began to see the value in it. One day a new neighbor moved into our community and we were talking audio and I found out that he had a nice system. And so he invited me over one day to check him out. I went over to listen to him and I noticed that he had a few acoustic panels on his wall. And then as we were leaving, we went through his garage and I noticed he had several other acoustic panels kind of just leaning up in the garage and I asked him hey what are you doing with those are you uh, going to use those throughout the house you're going to add some more to your living room he said no these are all extra so I asked him if he'd be willing to sell them and he said yeah probably let me think about it and I'll get back with you later on with the price well later on that night he texted me back and he said I could do eleven dollars a piece for each one of them now I thought that was a screaming deal I had been researching acoustic panels and I was finding that some of them were in the range of say $30 a piece all the way up to $50 and $60 and $75 a piece and I knew I was going to need probably six, seven maybe uh, roughly in this room at least what I could figure where I was going to put them and so that was a no brainer for me so I bought them for $11 and then I began to research well how do I know where to put them and so one of the first things that I found out is that you want to place your acoustic panels in the area of what's called the first reflection point. Think about it this way. Sound comes from your main speakers and that sound hits your ears directly because the speaker is aimed at you. But then you also have indirect sound, which are sound waves that leave that speaker, hit your side walls, and then come and hit your ears slightly later than the original sound, the direct sound that came straight from the speaker. And what happens is when you have that reflected sound, when you have that delayed sound after your ears have already heard the direct sound that came straight to you, your brain kind of gets confused. And that's why sometimes when you're listening to dialogue, in a room it can sound muffled it can it can sound unclear sometimes it's not the speaker's fault it's the room acoustics fault so in my room before i added the acoustic panels i knew i had acoustical issues because i could hear what is known as a slap echo So when you clap, all I heard was boing, 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 boing. I mean, it was crazy the amount of time it took for that sound to decay or that sound to fade away and not be heard. And so try that in your room. Just take your hands, get quiet for a second, and just smack your hands one time and just listen. How long does it take for the sound to reflect and then to die down if it bounces and you hear boy that's bad that's no bueno okay that is not a good thing for a room it's going to cause issues when you're listening to movies listening to dialogue or even listening to music and so you can have all the expensive gear that you want you can have the greatest receiver you can have incredible speakers you can have awesome subwoofers but if your room has major echoes, it's not going to sound as good as it can if you were to treat that room and get the acoustics tamed a little bit. So I know there's a lot of guys out there that know the science behind acoustic panels and where to place them. And I'm just going to be honest with you, I place them mainly where the first reflection points are. But then the rest of the panels I basically placed just in various places in the room that would still look appealing and wouldn't look really goofy. And so what I thought I'd do in this video is just kind of show you the panels that I've got. You can buy them from places like GIK. There's also another company called ATS. 
I'll link both of those companies down in the description. You can Google several other places, but those are just two that I was considering originally when I was looking at acoustic panels and adding that to this room. But if you're halfway handy or know someone who is, I'm gonna show you my acoustic panels and just show you how simple they would be to build if you were to choose to make some your own. And I know you can save a whole lot of money with that. So with that said, let me just take one off the wall. And let's take a look at it. All right, so over here, you can see that I've got an acoustic panel. This is in the first reflection point. So if you think about where my speaker is, my main right speaker is here. So sound is going to travel from this speaker straight to my ears, but there's also going to be sound that comes this way. It's going to hit this wall. And what the goal of this is, is to stop that sound from bouncing and echoing and hitting my ears secondary. So that's the whole purpose of this. There's three, probably three to four inches of insulation in this to stop that sound. And that's what you want to do. If you have too many acoustic panels in the room, you're going to deaden the sound and it's not going to sound very lively. But if you don't have enough acoustic panels or if you don't have any and you've got all these hard surfaces, the ceiling, walls, um, especially if you don't have, if you got hardwood floors or tile, that's going to be a lot of hard surfaces. You're going to get a lot of echo in the room. So let's go ahead and take one of these down and take a look. So I can just lift these up. And you can see I've got holes here where we've drilled other things. But we're going to take a look at this and I'll just kind of show you what it's made of. It's really simple in design. There's not a whole lot to it. Up here we've got some cleats. These are just little plastic pieces that I bought off of ATS. I'll link those down in the description. These are really, really handy. You screw these right into the back of the acoustic panels. Then you screw these into the wall. And then these just slip right on top of here. And they hang so that's really really convenient when I had bought these the guy had these uh, wire hangers but I didn't know if I would be able to get that exactly the right height on all these so I figured if I put these on here that would just make it really easy to hang and I'd be able to make them really level so let's bring this over here we'll take a look at them so if we take a look at the back of this you'll see that the outer edge consists of just a wooden border you can see they use some bracing for the corners. Inside here is insulation. Like I said, there's probably about two inches of insulation inside here. Usually you want two to three inches. If you don't have it thick enough, you won't be able to absorb the high frequencies. And here you can see in the corners, I've attached the little cleats. I'll show you those. Those are really simple to install because this frame is made of wood. I was just able to screw right into the frame and you can see this is just fabric. Okay. The fabric you can get at any place, any fabric store, Joanne's fabric or whatever. You know, of course this one is darker, which matched my room perfectly. So I didn't have to redo it. And you can see all they did was wrap it around and then they just put staples in the back of it. So it doesn't have to look pretty back here. You can see nothing fancy. You just want the edges to look good from the front. So I'll come over here on the side. So here you can see how thick they are. Now one thing I really like the way that they designed this acoustic panel is they actually put fabric on the back side of the insulation. So you have fabric on the front as well as on the back and that just keeps this in place. I never have to worry about it falling out. And so here's a look around my room. You'll see I've got a few on this wall. I've got two base traps back in the corner right there. Now base traps are a little bit different. Typically those are thicker than your high frequency panels. So they're designed to reduce the amount of reflections that you have in the, in the base frequencies. So if we come all the way around the room, I don't have any on the back wall. I've thought about putting them back there, but just have not had a chance to do that. And then you can see I've got another panel here and another panel up front on the other side. Now, if you're interested in building some of these for your room, 
There's tons of resources out there for you. Just Google do-it-yourself or DIY acoustic panels and there'll be a ton of resources out there. A lot of different ways to make them, but they all use kind of the same principles. Build a wooden frame, place some insulation inside of it, usually about three inches, and then wrap that with fabric just to make it look nice and then mount those to your walls in appropriate places. But if you're not handy and you'd rather just purchase them, there's great resources out there. Again, I'll post two companies that I was researching originally, GIK as well as ATS, and those little clips on the back that allow me to mount them to the wall, I'll link those down in the description as well. Those are super, super handy, really easy to use. Screw them into the wall, screw them into the back, and then they just clip together. And so those were really, really nice but they were also really, really cheap. I think I paid about 12 bucks for all of them. And so that was enough to secure all of them to the walls for me. Well guys, hopefully that'll give you some ideas as to what acoustic panels are and what you can do in your room by just looking at some things that I did in my room. Now keep in mind, I'm not an acoustic engineer and so I don't know all the intricacies of this. I just used the knowledge that I had found based on what other guys had shared online in different forums like the AVS forum. And so do your research on that, but I promise you guys, if your room has a slap echo like mine, acoustic panels will make a world of a difference in the way that your room sounds. It'll clean up your dialogue, especially for movies, and if you're listening to music, it's gonna make that sound a whole lot cleaner as well. Well guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully it was beneficial to you. Uh, if you got any questions about the acoustic panels or if you need more information, hit me up down in the comments below. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram so you can stay up with the latest and greatest news here on the Youth Man channel. And as always guys, you be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.